Hi, hello dear students. Welcome to our channel Maths with Panindra. In this video, pair of right line 7 marks questions from the first exercise we are doing. One of our subscribers and a student requested to make the videos from 4A exercise and 4B exercise which are very important. So that I am going to make one playlist for your convenience. Now let us have a discussion the question here. Find the centroid of the triangle formed by the lines 2y square minus xy minus 6x is equal to 0 and x plus y plus 4 equal to 0. So here this is a pair of lines which are passing through the origin. See the figure will come like this for this uh, question dear students. The given pair of lines it is in the form of ax square plus 3 x square plus b y square means the two lines are like this. And the line x plus y plus 4 equal to 0 which is not passing through the origin, this line. So this is x plus y plus 4 equal to 0. The point of intersection of this, this is the point of intersection, this is obviously origin. So we need to get this point A, this point B. So this area and they are asking centroid of the triangle. So step by step I will explain dear students. First the given pair of lines you write it. Given pair of lines. The given pair of lines. What are the given pair of lines? 2y square minus xy minus 6x square equal to 0. So first we are going to split into terms two lines. See here, minus 6x square plus 2y square, 2 into minus 6, minus 12. So, middle term in terms of uh, 4 and minus 3, we can write it. So, 2y square, the factorization here, minus 4xy plus 3xy minus 2x square equal to, sorry, 6x square equal to 0. From these two, 2y two take common, from these two, 3 take common. This is 3xy yesterday, it's not. Uh, so 2y, if you take out common, y minus 2x. From these two, 3x take out common, y minus 2x. Again from these two, y minus 2x we are taking common. Into 2y plus 3x. So this is one line, this is another line. So, write in the order y minus 2x equal to 0 and 3x plus 2y equal to 0. Even this equation also will write in the order multiplying by minus 2x minus y equal to 0. You put that equation number 1 and equation number 2. Observe carefully dear students, one line is 2x minus y equal to 0. Equation number 1. This one is 3x plus 2y equal to 0. This is equation 3. Equation 2. If you solve 1 and 2, what point we are getting? Clearly, the point of intersection of 1 and 2 is origin. No need to solve. Directly we can get it. And one more important thing, while solving two equations, constant is absent. So, that which are passing through the origin. Next, uh, solving 1 and 3, A point will come. Solving 2 and 3, B point will come. Solving 2x minus y equal to 0 and x plus y plus 4 equal to 0. We are solving these two equations to get A value. So this, uh, this one is, uh, we are solving no equations. So 2x minus y equal to 0. Next, x plus y plus 4 equal to 0. So we are adding these equations. Plus y minus y get cancelled. 2x plus x is 3x plus 4 equal to 0. So 3x is equal to minus 4. x is equal to minus 4 by 3. So, x is equal to minus 4 by 3, substitute in, x is equal to minus 4 by 3, substitute in, 2x minus y equal to 0, 
So therefore, two into minus four by three minus y equal to zero. So minus eight by three minus y equal to zero. Minus y we can take this side. Y equal to minus eight by three. So therefore, we are solving equation one and three, no? So in equation one and three, if you solve these two, a point will come. Therefore, the point A will comes a x comma y equal to a of minus four by three minus eight by three. A point we got. Next, solving two and three. Solving two and three. Three x plus two y equal to zero. And x plus y plus four equal to zero. So here x uh, x coefficient or y coefficient is two, no? So making uh, by solving equations to eliminate that three x plus two y equal to zero, and this equation multiplying by two. So two x plus two y plus eight equal to zero. So subtract one equation from another minus 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 plus two y minus two y get cancelled. So 3x minus 2y is x minus 8 equal to 0. So x equal to 8. So x equal to 8 substitute in in this equation. X equal to 8 substitute in 3x plus 2y equal to 0. So 3 into 8 plus 2y equal to 0. 24 plus 2y equal to 0. So 2y equal to minus 24, y equal to minus 12. So therefore, solving two and three equations now. Therefore, b of x comma y is equal to b of 8 comma minus 12. So what I'm telling is, a point is x1 y1. That only can take it. This is x2 y2. Obviously, this is x3 y3. So this point we got it now. This is x3 y3, x2 y2, and this is x1 y1. So the same points I'm plotting after that. Anyway, I'll rub this. Two questions are there. Till here, you will get out of seven marks difference for this procedure. Three marks for calculating centroid. Two marks for calculating area of triangle. Two marks. This is the way the marks is going to distribute. Minus four by three, minus eight by three. Next, B point eight comma minus twelve. So after that, I'm going to rub this board. I can write it this way. Now the next part they are asking find the area and center. Right? So first area, the area of triangle, and one more important thing, dear students. Among the three vertices, one of the vertices is origin. The area of triangle. The area of triangle OAB is. The formula is delta equal to half into x1 y2 minus x2 y1. That is the area of Triangle. When one of the vertices is origin, otherwise general formula x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x3 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2. One of the vertices is origin. That is the reason we are applying distance. So now apply half into x1. X1 value is minus 4 by 3 into y2. Y2 value is minus 12. Minus x2 value is 8. Y1 value is minus 8 by 3 is equal to half into minus into minus plus 12 48 by 3 minus into minus plus 8 into 64 by 3 which is equal to 1 by 2 48 plus 64 so 4 in 4 plus 8 12 so 112 by 3 so which is equal to Two ones are two fives are ten, two sixes are fifty-six by three square units. So 
So this is the area of triangle formed by the pair of lines and the line. Next, the centroid of the triangle. The centroid. The centroid of the triangle. OAB is G of X comma Y equal to right formula, general formula. As it is, you write it, dear students. X1 plus X2 plus X3 by 3. Y1 plus Y2 plus Y3 by 3. So, substitute the respective values. So, X1 value minus 4 by 3. Plus X2 value is 8. Plus X3 value is 0 by 3. Y1 value is minus 8 by 3. Plus Y2 value minus 12. Plus Y3 value 0 by 3. So, which is equal to, take the LCM, 8, 3 is a 24, 24 minus 4. So, 4 plus 24 by 3, by 3. Take LCM here. Here, minus 8, minus 36, divided by 3, by 3. 13, uh, 3 into 12, 36. So, which is equal to, 24 minus 4 is 20. 20 by 3 again it will come to the denominator. 3, 3 is a 9. 20 by 9. Minus 8 minus 36 minus 44 by 3 into 3, 9. So therefore the centroid of the triangle G of X comma Y equal to 20 by 9 minus 44 divided by 9. I hope you understand the students. I will meet with uh, the next video in the pair of straight lines with the seven mass question in the same exercise 4a thank you all for your support please if you like this video please share to your friends thank you all jay